Travis Paints the Town, a Bob the Builder book, read by Books for Kids by Flying Dragons. It was a busy morning in Bob's building yard. There was a long list of jobs that had to be done that day. Right, Bob, Wendy called. You, Mark and Rolly are to finish the new section of the town road. Travis will follow with the road marking machine in his trailer. What's a road marking machine? asked Mark. It's a special machine that paints lines down the middle of a new road, Bob explained. Cars travel on either side of the line so they don't bump into each other. It's ever so important to keep the lines straight, added Wendy. The team set off for the new section of road. When they got there, Rolly thundered up and down, flattening every bump in sight. Nearly finished, he called across to Bob, who was unloading the road marking machine. Good, said Bob. Then I can start painting the road. The busy machines did not notice Spud peeping at them from behind a bush in a nearby field. When he saw what they were doing, he gave a big grin. That looks like fun, Spud chuckled. Bob pushed the road marking machine into the middle of the road and loaded it with wet with white paint. He was just about to start painting lines when his mobile phone rang. Hello, Mrs. Potts, Bob said. What can I do for you? No, don't worry. I'll pop over right away. What's up, Bob? rumbled Rolly. Mrs. Potts's fence is broken and she doesn't want her dog to get out onto the road, Bob replied. I'd better go over there. It won't take me long to fix it. OK, Bob, we'll wait here, said Rolly. Bob jumped onto Mark and roared away. While Travis, Rolly and Bird waited for Bob to come back, they didn't see Spud creep towards the road marking machine. He quietly dragged the machine behind Travis, then unhooked the empty trailer and attached the road marking machine in its place. The naughty scarecrow then slipped back to the bushes. Tee-hee, Spud giggled. Now for some fun. Spud walked out, whistling loudly, as if he had just arrived. Hi, Travis, he called. I've got a message for you. Farmer Pickles wants you down at the pond. It's really important. I'd better get going, said Travis. Then he roared off, pulling the road marking machine behind him. As Travis hurried away, the road marking machine bounced along after him, painting wiggly lines all over the new road. Ha ha, chortled Spud as he inspected the wet white paint. Stop, Travis, come back, Rolly bellowed when he saw what was happening. Come on, bird, we can't just stand here and watch Travis make a mess of Bob's new road. We've got to stop him. This is the best fun ever, laughed Spud as Rolly lumbered off after Travis. Travis hurried to the duck pond as fast as his wheels could turn. He didn't look left or right as he rushed on his way to help Farmer Pickles. And that was why the little tractor didn't spot Farmer Pickles working in a field next to the country lane. Travis whizzed straight past him. Oh dear, gasped Farmer Pickles when he saw the wiggly white lines trailing behind Travis. And when Rolly and Bird rolled up, Rolly, called Farmer Pickles, follow that tractor. Wendy was in her office when Farmer Pickles phoned. Dear me, paint everywhere, she cried. Don't worry, I'll tell Bob right away. Bob was busy hammering the last nail back into Mrs. Potts's fence. Bang, bang, bang. There you go, he said. That should keep your dog nice and safe. Bob's mobile phone rang. Hi, Wendy, said Bob. What, Travis? Paint everywhere. I'm on my way. Travis was a lot lighter than Rolly and a lot faster too. The poor steamroller panted and spluttered as he trundled along after Travis with Farmer Pickles and Bird on board. Oh, please stop, Rolly groaned. Travis, yelled Farmer Pickles at the top of his voice. But Travis still couldn't hear them over the roar of his engine. Travis raced along the road. As he went faster and faster, the lines he painted were wigglier and wigglier. While Rolly and Farmer Pickles struggled to catch up to, with Travis, Bob and Muck were chasing frantically after him too. Quick as you can, urged Bob. We've got to stop him before he paints the whole town white. 
I'm already in top gear, spluttered Muck as he revved up his engine. I don't think I can go any faster. Try, Muck, cried Bob. Please try. Travis zoomed along the road and started to head across a field towards the duck pond. Spud peeped out from behind the bush to admire the mess. Hee hee hee, he chuckled. Now Travis is painting the grass white too. Then poor, tired Rolly wheezed past him. His heavy machinery clattered and rattled as he trundled after, ta- trundled after Travis. Ugh, growled Rolly as Travis bounced out of sight. Spud chased after them, laughing all the way. Bob and Muck raced down the hill towards the duck bo- pond at the bottom. Bob got a terrible fright when he saw Travis heading straight for them. Watch out, Muck, he yelled. Muck tried to avoid the runaway tractor. He slammed on his brakes and screeched to a stop. Help! roared Travis, swerving sideways. Out of his hubcaps fl- fell, fell, off the w- fell off the wheel and flew through the air. The line marker zigzagged behind him, then became unhooked. It rolled down the road, skidded sideways and turned over. Thick white paint spilled everywhere. Farmer Pickles and Rolly were next to arrive. Everyone stared at the puddle of wet paint. Just look at this mess, Bob groaned. Poor Travis was very upset. It really, really wasn't my fault, Bob, he cried. I didn't know the line marking machine was hooked on to me. I don't even know how it got there. I tried my best to stop him, Bob, panted Rolly. <sighs> but I couldn't catch him. Where were you going, said Farmer Pickles. Spud told me you needed me, said Travis. I never said that, exclaimed Farmer Pickles. Behind them, a bush started to shake with laughter. Spud, yelled Farmer Pickles, what have you been up to? Me? Nothing, Spud replied. So who hooked the line marker on to Travis, Bob demanded. Um, it was me, Spud finally confessed. It was just a bit of fun. Farmer Pickles glared at the naughty scarecrow. You've got some cleaning up to do, he said crossly. Farmer Pickles got a big bucket, filled it with soapy water and gave Spud a scrubbing brush. Off you go, he said, and keep scrubbing until you've cleaned up all the paint. Spud scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed. He followed the wiggly lines all the way around the town, then along the country lanes. By the- Yeah, by the time Spud finished, it was night time. There wasn't a trace of white paint anywhere. Can Spud scrub it? He said to himself. Yes, he can. The end. If you enjoyed this book, please do hit subscribe below. We'd love to share more Bob the Builder and plenty of other kinds of books with you too.